you get, hey guys, X Movies by X here. Um, I'm basically gonna be giving you guys uh, the Easy Cap drivers for the SMI grabber device. If you don't know what that is, um, it's a version of the Easy Cap. That's the one I have, and I'm not sure if it's going to help other versions of the Easy Cap. But anyways, uh, if you want to find out which one you have, um, basically click Start Devices and Printers, and then go down to the bottom to the devices area it should basically show you right there what you got um, so yeah um, how I'm gonna be giving you guys these drivers is from the disc that I got uh, the reason why I'm doing this is some of you guys may not have a, a disc tray in um, or you got a fake disc, or you didn't even get a disc. Um, yeah, I gotta plug in the easy cap real fast. There it is. As you can see, it's an SMI grabber device. Um, uh, if you're having a problem with the, we're having it work for the Windows 7 or Windows Vista. If it's a 64 bit, um, I had the problem for like about months. I didn't figure it out. Then I finally figured it out, and now I can use it. Um, but I, I haven't been recording right now lately because I didn't, you know, feel like doing it right now, like with the easy cap. So, anyways, um, I'll be telling you how to make it work for the Windows 64 bit as well, like later on in the video. So, anyways, now that you don't, you know that you have a, if you have an SMI grabber device, uh, if you don't have that, you can, you can also try this. You could try this with this video as. Uh, but basically, it's gonna be legit because it's gonna be the DVD drive. Um, as you can see, the files are right here. These are gonna be the same files that I'm gonna make for you guys in a .dot uh, rar file. And uh, if you don't have WinRAR, that's the program to extract the files. I'll also provide that for you guys in the link in the description. So basically, <coughs> uh, basically this uh. Extract it by right clicking it and once you installed WinRAR and click extract. Um, here, so here's all the files. You can open up the auto run, it will be the auto run. But I suggest that you guys do what I am doing. So, I, um, pause the video right here if you don't, if you haven't downloaded all the stuff you need to download yet. And then come back to the video once you download it. Um, if you already downloaded it, just continue where I uh, like what I'm doing so here we go you want to go over to the drivers and click that one um, there's also gonna be a Vista 64 or 1764 driver uh, nope but yeah I'm gonna basically be showing um, you can look at that too if you want and out but I'll just tell you anyways what you want to do next is click the setup this is this is the driver itself for the easy cap so this before you the easy cap will not even work properly without this driver installed so basically this is the main thing that you guys have been looking for it's under the folder drivers just click the setup we'll go through it and just install it um, it will say a message that it's a uh, it doesn't know what it is it could be a virus and all that but um, it's not it's just not recognizing it, just click install it anyways once you do that you want to go over to program and this is you lead video studio 10 this is the program that you can record your video clips with and edit them so you just open up the folder there and then you want to go and click setup again um, now you guys will be needing a code for this and I will provide probably codes in the description so basically I didn't do this yet but I have done it a billion times it works properly you just do the same thing with this too um, but during the process it's gonna be asking you for a code you can either write down on a paper or just hit control and uh, tab to you know go through the desktop and all that um, those are the basically a program that you will need mainly to have installed 
and uh, if you guys don't have DirectX 9 uh, I'll be providing that too in a web uh, link I will be basically being just give you like giving you the the legit site you know the DirectX download um, if you don't have the DirectX 9 or a higher ver uh, versions of that I'll be giving you guys this link right here it's the softonic.com um, this is 9.29.974 uh, um, DirectX it, this will uh, it helps you with the easy cap as well so basically um, I'll be giving you guys the whole setup to the easy cap SMI grabber device I'm not really sure about the other if this will work for you the other easy caps you guys could try it too um if it does work for you guys uh yeah that's great so yeah so I, I hope you guys liked my help that I gave you guys um so now I'm gonna basically be telling you about the making it work with the 64 bit um so what you gotta do is it works the best if you have it unplugged right so if you have your computer on and you installed all this stuff already you won't be able to use it yet what you gotta do is you gotta turn off your computer and then once you turn it off turn it back on and while like while the your cut the manufacturers um, logo is on and it says you know like all the buttons to push like all the F F1's and all that um, while that's on you gotta keep on pressing F8 so basically when you're pressing F8 then the uh, manufacturer logo goes off it will open up a list of stuff let me try to find it off the internet see if I can find the picture of that um, okay but anyways what you do is when the, all the, the stuff pops up you want to click you want to use the arrow keys on the keyboard go down and select disable driver signature enforcement and then hit enter and it will just launch up your computer like normal but it will allow your computer to run drivers that it won't let you run so uh... the easy cap so basically i did once you do that i already did that um, i don't have the the program that I'm providing you guys to record yet right now so I'm just going to be using an AM cap just to show you guys an example that it will work um, alright I gotta grab the controller I'll be guys showing you Xbox 360 of it okay <coughs> I'm just going to turn on the console so as you can see this is not the best program but it's working uh, there's a bunch of programs out there on the internet you can get for free uh, if you lead does not work or whatever yeah so basically as you can see it, it works perfectly but except my easy cap uh, doesn't have a audio chip in it which is sucky because I pretty much got like a, like a sucky one the SMI grabber as you know it's fake so yeah thanks for watching my tutorial um, if you do not see it right now it's because I'm recording but if uh, yeah it's working right now for me so anyways I hope you guys enjoy your easy cap and have fun recording videos later